Good afternoon, everybody. Old Love here, and welcome back to Sierra Saturday and Quest for Glory 5 Dragonfire. You watch your weight. You eat too much. I haven't eaten anything today. Oh, wait. Maybe that would. Maybe I did eat when I came back. Um, oh, what? Oh, you've got a girlfriend. I thought we were going steady, Freddy. Are you trying to make me jealous? Uh, what, what what do you mean? I cook for you, I clean up after you, and what thanks do I get? You drop me for a girl half my age and twice my height. That's gratitude for you. My what heart are you is talking? broken, you two-timer. I bet you flirt with all the girls. I've never flirted with you. She sent you a box of chocolates. A big, big, really big guy came in and handed me a note that said, Candy Graham for Hero. The other side said, Love, Elsa. I put it in your room. Why is this Elsa chick sending you stuff? Wait, big, 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 big guy? Love me and leave me. That's the way with you? Remind me never to fall for you again. How big of a guy are we talking? Was he green? Because, um... I'm kind of... The odor of overripe fruit. That's curious. So they're going after people that aren't even... That aren't necessarily... Um... Magic users. Is Elsa in here? Because I'd like to talk to her. No, she's not. Elsa do right too. Learn destiny. Not like what she hear. Elsa say very bad things happen soon. Destiny not good thing to know. Well, that's kind of accurate, actually. All right, let's talk to the, uh, let, let's talk to the famous adventurer. And then we'll give the chocolates to the apothecary, because he might be able to tell us something about that. Do you have anything that might help? So yeah, I'm down to 5,500 drachmas total, but I've got the, the, the Dragon Slayer sword. Hi. You who are about to die, salute me. Is that what it is? N no. I remember my Latin grammar to say it right, though. Well, I salute you right back. Thank you. I'm getting more and more itchy to go out adventuring again. Come the spring and I'm flying north like the birds. You interested in a job as famous adventurer while I'm gone? Here's something from my past you might know a bit about. Went to brunch with Baba Yaga, though I did not dare to eat. Had a queasy sort of feeling when I looked upon the meat. She called me Sweet Prince Ivan as she licked her lips at tea. So quickly I deserted ere she made dessert of me. Yeah, I do know something about that. They are really making you work for this rulership, right? You'd think they didn't want you to come back from Hades. I'm not sure they do. Hades? That's one place I've never wanted to visit. My buddy Orpheus went looking for his wife there once. He was never quite the same afterwards. On the way to Hades, he met Cerberus, the three-headed dog of the underworld. Orpheus charmed him with a song, but then Orpheus charmed everyone. Orpheus almost drank from the river Lethe, which makes you forget all worries and rest peacefully. But Orpheus was goal-oriented and wanted his wife back from the underworld. Didn't get her out, though. According to legends, all streams and rivers that run into the earth flow all the way down to Hades. To open a path to Hades, pour blood mixed with water into the hole. Then you gotta chant something or other, but I never learned the words. Never really intend to go there, you see. You got the right. nerve to brave the bowels of oblivion and dally with death, my friend. So blood and water mixed. You're sure gonna need it. 
into a river that flows into the into the earth. Like that disturbing the 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 disturbing place that uh up to the north. So that's where we need to go. Is the one that's like right on the the cusp of the uh of what looks like a volcano. Might just be a crater. Check this out. I took that black lotus you brought me and mixed just a little pinch into my poison cure pills. Now they're cosmically attuned to that poison and will homeopathically shut it down. I'll just swap these for any of the old poison cure pills you still have. You might want to get some more of the new ones just in case. Possibly. Hey, what do you make of these? Thanks. I bet this will really hit the spot for the late night munchies. You explained that you believe this chocolate is drugged. Oh, then I guess they give me the munchies instead of fixing them. <laughs> That's not so good. I'll have to check these things out. I'll let you know what I learn about them. I appreciate that. That black lotus was just exactly what I needed. Somehow that was the main poison ingredient. Though I can't think how, since you can't find black lotus anywhere except where you got that one. Anyway, I use the principles of contagion and sympathy. To cure a poison, I need to put a little of the poison in my pills. You just take a little bit and that makes the big amount not hurt you. That's called homeopathic medicine and it's really scientific. I'll bet those guys on Science Island would really appreciate this. Maybe. I've made up a whole batch of poison cure pills using the black lotus. They should work just like my old ones, except now they'll also cure poisons based on black lotus. Good. I'm doing a lot better since you brought in that lotus blossom. Feels good to know we can actually do something about that poison now, know what I mean? Yeah. Watch your back out there. Remember, if you run into that bad guy, chew up one of those lotus-enhanced poison-proof pills. Come back in one piece, okay? No problem. I, dude, I'll be fine. Health potion. Uh. I'm actually gonna want to get like a bunch of these. So how about sixty? I'd really like to be able to sell stuff that cheaply, but then I wouldn't 65. be able to buy from my poor star. Sure, that'll work. <laughs> you all right, uh, and I will take five of those. I'd really like to be able to sell stuff that, sure, that'll. Okay. So we've got plenty of health potions now, which is good. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to need them. Uh, we also want to get... Excuse me? It was me? such a thrill to see your flying machine in the air. Yeah, I know, I right? I from my stand all over town to keep it in sight. I have told everyone that it was you who made such a wondrous thing. This is all very good. Based on your paintings, Wolfie. I have been hearing many rumors of some very nasty prophecy which is supposed to be coming true. It is something about a big lizard that ate Atlantis and is going to be eating all of us. Oh, I'm hoping that this story is not... I would very much like to fly someday. I would be like a bird and fly away so... I hope that you would right, have as fly much fun. Right, fly stuff. All right, I need to buy some amphoras. I would like 15 amphoras, please. That is a very good offer, but it is not enough for me to accept. Now we seem to be getting very good, very... This is very... All right. That's more than enough amphoras. Um... Okay, so I know where we need to go for for this. It's the, the area where... The ground meets where the ground, where the water flows into the ground. Which is up this way.
examine the body. Although the blood on the pillar shards is not yet faded, the corpse of Samarian guard is already rotting away. You cannot you cannot see much of what's left of the face tied of my corpse. He's already cold and stiff as a gravestone. Search. Um, actually, we need to pull out one of the amphoras. You fill your amphora with the fouled water, reminding yourself not to drink it accidentally. Okay, so we have some of the bloodied water. Although you swear the body cannot have been here very long, it's already so decayed by water. The stream is flowing in remnant parts. Okay, I, I wanted to bury it, but... Okay, so we have the fouled water now. So if we pour it here into where it's flowing into the ground, the bloodied water should. Seems an odd thing to do, but you're not really sure why you're doing it, but obviously you have nothing better to do. And there's the gates of hell. And there's Cerberus. Welcome to Hades. I am Cerberus, guardian of the gates. I make certain no dead shall leave Hades. I make certain no living enter Hades. Hi, puppy. Uh... Oh, sure. No one alive shall enter here. They... The souls of the good are gathered within to enjoy the peace they deserve. The souls of evil are punished or doomed to eternal wandering. Even the best souls are not at rest. Some seek to live again. I have been since the dawn of time. I will be until the dusk of eternity. Of course you will. I am immortal. Hades is the abode of the dead. Their souls rest in the peace of oblivion. Once they pass the river Styx. If they do not cross the waters of binding. Their souls roam restlessly the halls of Hades. Seeking the endless sleep they crave and cannot attain. Okay. Um. Mm. Oh. No, ah. That's what I call a bribe. That greasy thing. Yuck. I'm going to have indigestion, you realize? Hey, no fair. I want a bribe too. What about me? Don't I get a yummy bribe? Okay, so we need to bribe them with other stuff, but we need to get back to mainland, to, to Silmaria again real quick, uh, because we need to fight. We need to get ready to fight. It's our day in the arena. I actually am gonna put that there. So yeah, we need to we need to fight in the arena and uh and and
Although the arena doesn't open until seven, I think. Nope, okay. It, apparently it opens at six or 6.30. Elsa, I don't want to fight you, but uh, so you think to challenge me, do you? At least you consider me as worthy an opponent as I consider you to be. Should be interesting. I mean, I have all I my magical to gear. All of you. Welcome to the arena. On this night, we have a most unusual combination of beauty and deadly skill at arms from the barony of Spielberg. We have someone of the noble line. I summon to combat Elsa von Spielberg. And she's got a magic I, sword. Elsa von Spielberg shall prove my skills upon the field of combat. Our champion is challenged by a most renowned hero. I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summon me to battle. Yes, you boo me because I'm not the champion. Begin. Sorry, Elsa. I didn't want to do it, but I mean, it's gonna earn me some cash. Money. The of tonight's battle is the Prince of Shapir. Yeah. I think we actually have to battle Gort, and then it's our turn in the champion ring. All right, let's zip back home. The cheers of the crowd are still ringing in our ear. All right, I want to go down to the Thieves Guild. Ooh, I don't know if I can... I don't know if I have enough money to, to raise. Good evening, mighty. The Chief Thief Contest is over now. It is? Oh. I'm pretty much... Okay. I don't know how we did, though. You dream that you are standing near the gates of Hades. From the darkness, you hear the voice of Arana calling your name. You feel a sense of loneliness and great loss when you awaken from this sad dream. So yeah, so we're dreaming of, Ara uh, of Arana, who is in hell, or Hades. Um, and we can potentially get her out. But that's gonna have to wait until next time because we're all out of time for this week. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and don't forget to press the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you want to see some crazy, so nice, you should meet me and my friends. The Even fun game. No money, sure much thanks. Money, yeah. So you're a writer. Sure, I know who you're talking about. David Robertson, the painter, right? Did you hear what this jerk has to say about your mother's? What? My mother was a saint!